Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So for today's video, we are going to another historical landmark in the Philippines. So last episode, we showed you a little about the walled city or the Intramuro city in Manila. So for today, we are going to Luneta Park or Rizal Park. So we want our trip to be very purposeful. So since we still have enough time to explore Manila before our grand trip, so we are taking you with us to Luneta Park. So actually, we are living or we are staying nearby Luneta Park. So I will show you guys. So here is my panga. Hi, my loves. Good morning, my loves. So that's my handsome husband. And yeah, over here is the view of the Luneta Park from our hotel. This is Luneta Park view from our hotel. I don't know if it's clear. This one is, of course, the famous flagpole with our flag um, hanging on it. And this one is the lush greens like a mini forest inside the city so we will just cross here right here you will cross the street and then you we will tra traverse this way until we reach the highway and then we will turn right to reach Luneta Park so that's very near This is the Philippine National Flagpole or known as the Independence Flagpole located near the Rizal Monument in Rizal Park. It stands 45.72 meters and is considered the highest flagpole in the country. So we are here in Luneta Park already and this is the famous monument of our national hero. Dr. Jose Rizal. So, uh, yeah, so that's it. So, this is actually not the first time that I visited here. I visited here multiple times already, but I really want to let my husband experience um, Luneta Park together with me. Yeah, because this is actually his second time, but during the first time, it was just so quick, so quick that we only view the dancing fountain. That's my husband over there. The Rizal Monument is a memorial in Rizal Park which is designed to honor the executed Filipino nationalist and our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. The memorial consists of a standing bronze sculpture of Rizal with an obelisk set on a stone foundation inside which his remains are laid to rest. Bearing his two famous novels, El Filibosterismo and Nolimi Tanghere. Still widely known as Luneta, Manila's iconic Central Park is spread out over some 60 hectares of open lawns, ornamental gardens, ponds, paved walks, and wooded areas dotted with monuments to a whole pantheon of Filipino heroes. As a place where Jose Rizal was executed by the Spanish colonial authorities, it's also of great historical significance. So there are also food stalls here. So if you get hungry, you just buy some things here. And there are a lot of benches for the guests to rest. So over there is another road going to our hotel. So if you can see, I don't know if it's visible. There's a purple building over there. There's a purple building. So that is our hotel. Yeah. We first visited the Chinese garden inside Luneta Park where we can see Chinese arts and structures. So we are here in the Chinese garden. 
So as you can see, there is a small fountain. This garden symbolizes the friendship between the Filipinos and of course the Chinese people. So I like it here because it's so shady. It's not too hot and because there are a lot of big trees surrounding the place. Inside the Chinese garden are pagodas, small lakes and bridges with statues and beautiful Chinese classical architectures with Chinese characters on them. It can be too hot when visiting the national park. The Chinese garden is a good place to take a walk and relax. We also chanced upon the Central Park Lagoon where visitors can watch multicolored jets of water sway and spout in zinc with carols at night. The Rizal Park Open Air Auditorium is a covered amphitheater situated within the Rizal Park which serves as a venue for concerts and other events. The Chess Square is where visitors hold their picnics and get-togethers because it is covered with huge Nara trees where everyone can relax and avoid the heat of the sun. This is also popular to chess aficionados and you can also see players here at any time of the day competing. Tables are set up with pre-designed chess board and you can also rent chess pieces and a timer if you want to play a game. There are also food vendors in this area of the park where one can buy snacks, cold drinks, and desserts. Ano po yung fit flavor ko yan? Mango. Magkano po? May 20, may 40, may 30. Ito yung malaki? 40. 40. Where is the 30? Isha dito. It's a Ah, sige, 40, 40. Yeah. Next stop was the Japanese Garden. It features Japanese theme architecture and landscaping along with a man-made lake and the Hiroshima Stone for Peace with a Buddha image carved by the survivors of the Hiroshima bombing. It is built to promote friendship and tolerance between Japan and the Philippines. It's a great place to take a pleasant walk around the garden. Plenty of people frequented the place for picnics, rehearsals, picture takings, video recordings, and a lot more. Minimal entrance fee of 5 pesos is required to enter the garden. So we are here in the Japanese garden. As you can see in the structure, it's so Japanese. My panga is here. We keep on <laughs> resting because it's so hot. through the Luneta Park. We've been to the Chinese Garden. We are currently here in this Japanese Garden. We also went to a park where many um, Nara trees were planted. There were also tables for the visitors to have their board games like chess or something. And yeah, we are halfway through. We will roam around the other side of the park. We also found a local version of Los Angeles' famous LACMA sculpture. This structure definitely adds beauty to the park. An old house with a Philippine flag also caught our attention. It took me a while to figure out what this building is for. It looked like the building where the Philippine flag was first raised during the Philippine independence. In Luneta Park, 
Even the minute details serve as a memorabilia of historical events in the past. This old building is a guardhouse. Unique primarily for their size, these huge houses for pigeons are located just south of the Central Lagoon and the Dancing Fountain in the huge Rizal Park, perhaps located here to protect the many bronze busts lining the lagoon. Serizal's execution site is the most significant feature in the whole park. Our national hero was sentenced to death by the Spanish colonial authorities on the grounds that the nationalist ideas contained in his two novels, Nolimetangere and El Filibosterismo, were fomenting revolution. Rizal's death was a turning point in the Philippine history. The Philippine Revolution followed not long after his execution, ushering in Asia's first democracy. Here, on the actual site of his execution, eight clusters of life-size bronze statues depict the martyrdom of Dr. Jose Rizal. There are also statues or dioramas that depict the hero's final moments in the actual site where he fell and died. The entrance fee is 50 pesos for students and 75 pesos for adults. The ingress is adorned with bronze sculptures and various translations of Rizal's famous poem written on the eve of his death. My journey in Rizal Park was one of the most purposeful visits I've ever made as a Filipino. It felt like it's my responsibility as a citizen to be more knowledgeable about the past. Rather than exploring other places in the country or abroad, we should start by exploring historical landmarks which carry our rich Philippine history. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave some love, and subscribe to my channel for more historical travels where you can reconnect with nature and the vibrant culture of this beautiful country. Bye!